Welcome. Tell us about yourself. Uh, my name is Jürgen Tharlsen. Uh, I work in a company called Artplant as a producer. Um, been working with games for about 20 years. Um, yeah, that, that's it. I love games. That's what I do and hopefully I can do it all my career. What does a producer do? Uh, it's a very wide role. It depends on the company, the project, what you do. Um, uh, many producers, they're obviously overseeing the production. Um, many from a creative standpoint, so you give feedback, work with the designers, uh, just try to get everybody to pull in the same direction, make sure you're on budget, on vision, um, speak with uh, external stakeholders like publishers and IP holders, uh, you sell the game, I mean it's, it's pretty much you're involved in every aspect of the production. Uh, typically I could say that there will be two types of producers, you have the the tracking producers and the creative producers. Um, and as soon as the team sizes grows bigger, then it gets more specialized into, into what you do. So there's no definition. The producer is like a very wide potato kind of role. Uh, and many times you shape it into shape it into what yourself are able to do with it. So yeah. And what does Art Plan do? We make 3D browser games. So I'm the producer on Game of Thrones, the MMO. Um, we just released Battlestar Galactica Online last year. We just passed 10 million players on that. We make GI Joe, so it's all about browser gaming, 3, 3D browser gaming. So we believe that the um, browser is the next evolution. People want to have them, the games instantly. So we've been focused on being among the best companies in the world on that, that platform. And before Art Plan, what other projects have you worked with? Uh, I've been working in Funcom for many, many years. So I've been doing uh, Anarchy Online, Age of Conan, Longest Journey, Dreamfall, Secret World. Worked a bit on Bloodline Champions here in Sweden. So many, many different games through the, through the years. Hmm. Uh, games is said to be a very rapidly changing industry. How yeah. has that affected you and how, what do you do to keep up? Well, obviously, we are in one of the frontier spaces of it. Uh, I think I, uh, I always worked in companies that have been quite visionary. So at the beginning, when I started in Funcom, wasn't quite knowing whether the internet would hit off. We've been working on MMOs before they really hit off, uh, inventing a lot of business models, the companies have been doing it. So we've always been on like the frontier of, of the innovation and, and trying to push the innovation too. Not just me, of course, but the people I've been working with. Um, and it's been affecting me in the sense that it's super, super fun and creative and it's very low visibility on the future. Uh, so this dynamic process of not really knowing where the world is going but you, you stake a course and go for that is, is very, very exciting and can be very tough and challenging and um, mentally daunting as well. It's a lot of doubt when you really don't know where the future is going. Um, so that's, you know, it's, uh, it's just an uh, ongoing flow. I think that's why I love working with games so much too. Um, yeah. What would you say is the best part about your job? Uh, that I get to be involved in every part of production. Um, I get to yeah, see all aspects of the game and I can have a meaning about it and, um, and just discuss with all the great creative people and IP holders and yeah. I get to meet cool people, I get to go here. <laughs> I get to party and dance and, uh, and uh, it was actually work. So, uh, so that's uh, one of the perks. Um, so that's, so like, it's, it's a really good job to have, but also very, very challenging, yeah. What inspired you to get into game development? I just love games. I mean, um, I think I was five years old and I got the Pong machine, the Atari 2600. And then I just followed every, every console, I was just uh, an addict to all the arcade machines, so every day I was hanging at the video store, trying to pick up bottles so I could play more games. Uh, <laughs> I just tried to get hold of as much money as I could so I could just play games. Um, no better inspiration than that, I think. I just, you know, I just love, love playing games, so that's my inspiration. How did you get your first job in the industry? Uh, I started, uh, I was in the Air Force and I started, uh, I was an entertainment officer. So I just started importing, uh, importing machines to the base and setting up competitions and that's a job. And then I started writing about games. 
and in the beginning for free and then it just went from there then I started like a record chain with some together with some others when I was like 19 years old and built up like 55 stores in always selling so it's just been like a progressive thing where it's just evolved through the years uh, now that you work with games is it like you expected I never done anything else so uh, I've been working with games for 20 years now and uh, uh, it's, it's, it's what I expect, but I don't have much. Well, my expectations, I guess, are met all the time. I think that uh, working with games is a fantastic industry to work in, but I also think it's very, very tough. So it's not a simple career choice. It all sounds so cool, and the games, and you all, always see the end effect of things, but it's also a very hard process. So, yeah. Uh, do you have any advice for people who want to get into game development? Uh, yeah, I think that uh, the best thing you can do is enjoy, uh, you said it, the rage guy here, enjoy the journey. Um, getting a number one hit is the dream of a lot of people, but when you get to that point, necessarily make sure that you have enjoyed all the journey up until it as well. Because uh, I think that just going to work every day and being happy about it and being humble and try to learn every day, it's, it's way more important than have this ambition to have to be number one because that's burning a lot of people out in the industry, so, yeah. Hey, thank you. Yeah, thank you.